hold that okay. thought. Okay. Hold that thought because actually I have something I want to show you, which okay. is exactly along those lines. I have sorry. we have we have sorry, a new just, oil. Sorry, sorry, I'm just kind of No, no, take your time. I'm I, getting I, a, just getting. I know the feeling, my friend. Okay. I know how that feels. So what I have here, I'm going to show you this, okay. just as because uh, we've mentioned the use of um, organics and these things. This is a new release. It just hit the website like 48 hours ago. Oh. It's called Oud Extraordinaire. Mm. Oud Extraordinaire. Now I wouldn't name it Oud Extraordinaire unless I thought that it is extraordinaire, mm. right? So. Let me see what you think of it. I really want to know your your your, your take on this. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, right. just 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 go with it. Just just check it out. Allah, you like it? Oh, yeah. You you got to dab a little bit on it and just. Uh, yes. Mashallah. What do you think of that? Uh, it is extraordinary. Really? Yeah. I mean, I know we're in front of the camera and people are listening to what we're saying, right? But I want you to be like as, as brutally critical. Brutal does not fit with this smell. smell. Okay, well, honestly. Well, I mean, there you have it. It's the shape I mean, you have. I mean, I mean, you know, because nothing this beautiful. Yeah. Do you feel it's like bread? Like almost, like it has like a green, like a, like a, like a green banana wholeness to it, with the smell of like gently baking bread. To me, it's like this a very wholesome, very peaceful. It's like a. No, definitely peaceful. Yeah, like it's something like tranquil. It, it induces, you know. Yeah, I mean, this is something that I could see, you know, like throughout the day, just catching it and and coming down. Yeah. From where, if I was in a situation, maybe where I was like, you know, at work or something like this. Well, of course, I don't think everywhere there's to work there. <laughs> but if I was in a situation at home, an argument with my wife, maybe has. <laughs> okay. That would be it. That would be it. That would be. Now this is really. Uh, yeah. It yeah. is extraordinary. Yeah. Well, now, now I, I want you to really focus for a second. I'm, I'm gonna just like see if I can get you to see what I see here. Okay. At the very top of the smell, there is this almost this minty green mm -hmm. facet, like almost like a like a very soft cloud of green mint that has that anesthetic property, to, to my nose at least, mm. as the kinam that, that is on your tongue. Mm. Like this caramelized lidocaine with, with peppermint and, and, and lemongrass kind of thing, if I can say it that way, if, or like, how would you say yeah, it? Yeah, I could see that, I could see that I could, I could see that. Actually. You get, it's like, almost like this, uh, Almost like candy, but but it's like this uh, like this narcotic candy, green. Yes. Uh, well, I don't know. Candy in my terminology doesn't seem right to say this about food, but uh, you don't you don't see the candy sweetness. No, I see the sweetness of it, but well, is there something that's better than candy that we could say? <laughs> <laughs> you think candy is like not doing it its full justice? No, of course not, because candy. I think of the children. This is not for children. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but I see what you mean about the the, the sort of like a, the cool mint. mint there's tea. there's like there's like a like a very like a very gentle crossover between this and the kinam we just chewed on. Mm. I find. Yeah. You know, it, to me. Yeah, I can see that. Now, this is still, you know, my tongue is still a little bit. No. None from this, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It's uh, very nice. Mm. Uh, it's, it's very nice. Uh, 
I want to show you something else actually and see what you think of that. After this? I don't know. Uh -huh. After Extraordinaire. What, what, what else, else is can there? you do? Well, you know, believe it or not, Extraordinaire. This is from Cultivated Agar Wood. No, you're joking. No, I'm not joking. This is 100% organic plantation agar wood. You mean cultivated, planted from the beginning from saplings? By people, farmers, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not something that we went to the jungle and cut and the tree how down. How long does it take to I mature? mean, these are 40-year-old trees. Wow. These are like 35, 40 years. Mm. That's nice. Though. Now this, see what you think of this. Honestly, this is... You prefer the extraordinary? Oh, fun. Without, <laughs> without, without a doubt. Really? Yes. But I have to wait, you know, because all the time, any time when I put any kind of oils on, or mm -hmm. perfume, right. I, can't, I can't always trust my first uh, impression. impression of the smell. Yeah. I, I, I feel like I'm, I'm too drawn in by the initial uh, you know, strength of whatever right. it is that's been putting on, and sometimes that can be deceiving. Right. 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 You know, right. And of course, with oil like this, you don't want to be deceived. Right? You want to wait and be patient and give it time. Well, while you're waiting, while you're waiting, okay. I'll give you something else to, to ponder. Okay. So I'll put that. Uh, where is the extraordinary? The extraordinary is here. Over here, so I'll put that over here. Okay. Can I have to? Yeah, you need to always uh, dab on it lightly. It's still, you prefer the I prefer the extraordinaire. Mashallah. Then you you've been blessed. Mm -hmm. But but you see, I think if I didn't have the extraordinaire and I was given this first, this whatever, what is the name of it? This is Patani. Patani, Patani Limited. Wild harvested South Thai agar wood from centennial trees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's nice. And this one, one? Once you hear what it is, then it becomes nice. But if, I don't, if it's a blind test, then it's like all about extraordinary. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's still extraordinary. I still believe extraordinary. To me, it's better. It's better. It is, the smell is more, it's more calming, should I say. Right. Than this. It, it, it just sits better with you. With it's me. Like, yeah, yeah, it's like more like a... This one? Personal kind of uh, preference. Yeah, but I mean, having, you having said this, I was going to say this even before you said what it was, but it, this does smell like it more wild, actually. Well, it's not more. This is wild, and mm -hmm. this is cultivated. But I'm saying in the smell sense, not in what it, what the difference is, the physical right. difference that this was cultivated, and this is wild. Right. I'm saying in a in a metaphorical sense. Yeah. Okay. It does have a, a wild, uh, and that can be interpreted in many different ways, not necessarily wild tree. <laughs> you mean like wild animal? Like wild, yes, like wild in, in all the senses of you can, how you, you can interpret wild. Do you pick up any like barn or any like uh, manure, like facets in it, which are actually not Sheikh Ehab's cup of tea? Mm. <laughs> Sheikh yeah, Ehab is, is not a very big uh, lover of barn. Now, although I've lived in many places, maybe that's why, maybe because I've many places where I lived, you know, there were animals there right. of all different sorts and types. And you don't miss those animals a little bit? I mean, like, doesn't, no, the, I smell, don't, doesn't I the smell do. just like transport you like... Smack, yeah, I, 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 I do miss that sometimes because it, re it takes me back to the whole environment, right? The whole experience of that, right? right. right. Whereas this is something where I could see myself like it brings me back to just you know the meditation, sitting in a nice you know room, pure zen. You know, kind of yeah, thing. on the on, on the cushion, on the floor, pillow, or on the floor, and just like detached. Yes, detached. This.
I, I feel like there's more interaction, you know. This catapults you into catapults a job. Into, yeah, into a different, into yeah. a different environment. Right. Where this is more like, a, <clears throat> you know, calming, and this seems more adventurous, I, I would say. More adventurous. Well, what you have on the inside of your wrist is a $350 bottle of oud. This one actually, excuse me, I'm sorry. Sure, I, sure. I just, sure. You know, just, I just got drawn back to this and... Actually, this has now taken on a different smell than when I first smelled it. And when I first smelled it, I felt it was a little bit overpowering, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's like, a... Not, not, in a in a, not in a necessarily good way. Right? right. It's a wild Cambodian. This is? Yeah. Oh, so now it has settled and... It, and now it seems like this compared to this. This is definitely wilder, it seems to me. The Patani. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. But this one, it seems like it's more <clears throat> taken on a lot of the characteristics of this, actually. Well, the, the wild Cambodia, I mean, the trees that we harvest in Cambodia now are nowhere near as old as these Batani trees were. Oh. I mean, these are very, very old trees, mm. right? Uh, the Cambodian trees that they harvest now, I would wager uh, like an estimate of what, 40 years old, 50 years old, if we're lucky, 60 years old, the, the, maybe even 30 years old. But these are not, these are, these aren't... Uh, these are from the jungle. They're from the jungle, but no. only 40 years old. I mean... I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Okay, this, but what this is about what, the... what I estimate. Okay, and the Patani is we're talking, you know, okay, what centennial. About the, the extraordinaire. Extraordinaire, like we said, you know, 30, 35, 30. 40. Okay. You know? So but basically the same, but these 40 is is you can you can say 40. Okay, and this basically around the same, but wild. The Cambodia? Yeah, the Cambodia. The Cambodia is hundred percent wild. Yeah. Hundred percent wild. So I love it. Now this has taken on sort of like that, you know, I mean, I, yeah. I feel this is closer to this. this the one. growth, I mean, the growth of the Aquilarias in the Cambodia is not as as, as old as mm. the uh, Patani. Oh, yeah. I, I, Patani, you're talking centennial trees. Okay, if we want to be modest, we could say maybe 80, 90 years old. Mm. Right. But uh, the Cambodia, I would say 40 years old, 50 years old. This, this, so even, nice. even this, even the, uh, the Patani, mm -hmm. okay, it seems now to have calm down a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. but still has that, you know, that adventurous, you know. Can I let you in on a secret? I hope I can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you can. The secret is that the Patani has been soaked for a very short time. Soaked? Soaked. Okay. As in, in water? In water, yes. Okay. Now, not necessarily fermented to the point where the soak starts to induce a smell and mm -hmm. lactic bacteria start to eat at the agar wood, right? Mm -hmm. But to, you know, to loosen the pores, okay. to make the oil, you know, easy, you know, come out easier from the wood. This is, you know, obviously old mythology because personally I've tried doing this, you know, A-B testing with uh, soak, unsoaked, different types of batches, different types of soaks, different lengths of soak, mm -hmm. and there's zero impact on the yield. Okay. So people are so fixated on this soak thing, you know, we got people in Sri Lanka, they're, they're obsessed with soaking, you know, because they think they will get more. No, I need to soak it at least for two days. Give me at least one day, you know, I'll, I, I, I don't want any soaks, you mm -hmm. know, because I, I, don't want, I don't want people to tell me that it catapulted me into the wild or like whatever you're saying. Right? Mm -hmm. But, uh, and it's not part of my aesthetic. Mm -hmm. Like as we're going to delve in later, you know, like as we go into the more, you know, historical types of oils, you know. Uh, the soak is just something that has nothing to do with agar wood resin. I mean, why would you soak uh, something that's already beautiful and natural and uh, it's like... But when, how, how did this begin? Why did they begin to soak it in the first place? I mean, it's like, like why did they begin to ferment grapes to mm -hmm. make wine? It's like a thousand-year-old tradition of making agar wood, which includes fermentation as part of the process. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to get this without soaking, you would have to let them know beforehand it's normally soaked. I mean my my batches don't get soaked mm. you know I know people they have these theories of you know like they like to do charts and graphs and you know this long soak that long soak blue soak cold soak hot soak all these kind of things right I don't soak mm. right I don't soak and that that's kind of like I don't soak has a lot more connotations than what you think because you can say, I don't soak, and then now people are going to start not soaking as well, and then they're going to end up naked in front of people. It's like, almost like that. Why? Because if you don't soak, immediately the grade of agar wood that you use is exposed. Mm. What does the soak do? The soak induces a different smell. 
This is what I call a, 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 an auxiliary note or an accessory note, which is a side note to the note inherent in the wood. Uh -huh. So that's what the, the result is of the soaking. It depends exactly. on how long it soaked or... If we soak, <clears throat> if we were to do a test, and I would invite my colleagues who are tuning in with us and want to replicate any of this, right? Just do a test, like soak feta cheese in one barrel, soak agar wood in another, soak cotton in a third, and soak anything you like in a fourth. Put dirty socks, whatever you want. I mean, you know, just soak coffee beans. You're going to end up with things that smell roughly the same or faintly, you know, like redolent of each other, right? It, it reminds you of, of the smell of, for example, blue cheese. Mm. Or, uh, so it won't take on a, a different characteristic when you soak it. Then. Of course it will. I mean, that's what we're just saying, right? No, but I mean, the, the, like blue cheese, but it will still be like blue cheese, right? What do you mean? I, well, I'm saying that you're saying if that... If we don't age blue cheese, it won't be blue cheese. It won't become true. blue cheese at all. That's right. Because what? Because the lactic bacteria that are making it blue cheese mm -hmm. are the same critters that are acting on my resin when I soak it and making that into this funky note that you say catapults me into the wild. Oh, okay. You see what I mean? I got it. Yeah. You see? So the same lactic bacteria, if we introduce it to, uh, you know, uh, cabbage, will give us a sauerkraut, right? So soaking and fermenting, I mean, in Malaysia, would you believe they ferment fruits? Uh, yeah, I believe that. Yeah, I mean, they have fermented fruits as part of their tradition. Yeah. It's like mangoes and, uh, you know, papayas, yeah, yeah, all, yeah, I, I, all I fermented. Right? We don't do that, but I mean, it's like uh, like we have this with the fruits, right? We eat non-fermented fruits, right? The Japanese, they, they appreciate not fermented agar wood, right? Mm. So the oud has to be straight up the way it is inside the tree. But remove the soaking, remove the soaking, and it's like the king is naked in front of everyone for them to see. Because mm. you know what? Because then it goes straight to the resin that he's using, the age of the wood. What is that wood like by itself, without any tweaks, without any changes, Okay. no modification? The soak is like a veil. Let's think of the soak as the hijab. Okay. Right? So the, 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 the wood that is soaked is like it's wearing a hijab and we don't see what it looks like, mm. right? The wood that is not soaked, we can see everything. Okay, no, yes, no, I mean, I, you know, it's like, mm. It goes back to your uh, your aesthetic, you know. But the grade is immediately apparent. Mm -hmm. Immediately apparent. If you don't soak, I can tell the age of the tree. I can tell the jungle of the tree. I can tell the grade of the wood. I can tell the part of the of the infection that you're using. It's all palpable. It's clear, mm -hmm. right? You soak, then so, it's like it smells like cheese. Okay. So so most most soak or most don't people who are Everybody soaks. Everybody soaks. Everybody okay. soaks. Even people that have been like champions of, then this is the irony of this whole thing. Mm. People that are the, like champions of this resin as it is inherent. Of purity. Of purity. Uh. They soak the longest. It's oh. like they soak for like three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, right? Because of the impact that that has on the distillation. Given everybody's parameters, I don't know like what other people do, right? But if you follow classic parameters, right? And my setup, I've done A-B testing, there is no impact. You soak, you don't soak, marginal, nothing. It, to me, it's negligible. There's nothing. There's no difference. Okay. But other people claim, you know, a lot of people claim that if you soak, there is a visible and, and, a, and a clear difference in yield. Therefore, why would I take, let's say, uh, one, one run is going to cost me $9,000 to run, right? Why would I take $9,000 and get, like, let's say, uh, two tolas of oil when I can get three? Ah, uh, so... Uh, I can, uh, yeah, I can offer the oil for less to people, right? But I don't know where they're getting, I don't know how they're cooking it, because every time I try it... Comes out. Soaking does nothing. I mean, it's, it's just, I think it's just a fiction. It's like a like a. It could know. be like you said, something they've just become used to. Right? Yeah. And they just do it, and yeah. they, uh, to them, that's the way it should be done. But you want the true smell of this, right? This, for example, right? 
and no one is going to distill this, so don't think that when I say the true smell of this, that we're going to throw this inside the pot, right? But take a look at this. Okay, now remember the Patani that I gave you a swipe? Yeah. This is wild Patani agarwood of the highest order. This was harvested like 30 years ago. Huh? This is vintage, it's ancient. Mm. 